Welcome to Cooking with Ranger Rob. Grab your aprons, people. We're going to make something good today. Hi, guys. This is Cooking with Ranger Rob and want to try something new today. I've never made it. I love it when I buy it at a restaurant. I'm going to make chicken and dumplings today. My motivation came from uh, Sam the Cooking Guy. Um, some of it. Other parts of it I'm doing on my own. And uh, I highly recommend that channel just to get motivated about finding simple things in the grocery store, in your refrigerator, to cook up meals that are good so you're not eating out all the time. Because uh, that, that's a killer. And uh, so uh, I bought some chicken. I'll show you. I'm going to boil it actually. And then I'm going to shred it a little bit. And we're going to make chicken and dumplings. So we'll do this together. It's my first time. I also want to remind you if you want to help this channel, please make sure you subscribe and also I make the Ranger Rob Pet Poopy Bags and they're available on Amazon and uh, I'm going to run a little commercial of, uh, of our poopy bags and then we'll get started. All dogs smile when they know they have quality waste bags from Ranger Rob. What makes Ranger Rob Poopy Bags different is a bigger and deeper design. Easy tie handles and lemon scented. So get on the stick and head on over to Amazon right now and get yourself your own bag of Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Get low cost and free shipping. Today we're using some chicken breasts that I bought that um, were already cut up and it was buy one get one free. So I paid seven, eight dollars for this so I got another one free for another day. But very easy, I'm going to cut these up a little bit throw them in boiling water and cook them that way and then we're going to shred the chicken. So uh, yeah, easy stuff people. By the way guys, uh, paper plates. Grab yourself some cheap paper plates for all the little things you're doing in the kitchen. That way you're not dirtying a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, Anyway, um, I keep right here in my cupboard, which is a mess, a whole stack of them and I use them all the time and it helps keep the dishes down and I know so hey you know here's the deal <laughs> if you're cooking uh, then maybe you can negotiate the person that's your partner to do the dishes since they don't have to cook uh, that's kind of the arrangement that I have with uh, with Sherry but uh, I still do dishes once in a while just to make sure I'm not taking advantage of her because I can really cr I can trash this kitchen pretty good so let's get back to cutting up the chicken here Here's my chicken, and it's cut up smaller than I thought. So, never mind. I'm going to keep the chicken just the way it is. It's actually cut in smaller pieces. And, uh, yes, I'm touching chicken. And, yes, I've washed my hands just now, and I'm going to wash them again. I'm just going to throw them in like this and cook them up, because I'm going to shred them. <laughs> so, what, why get a knife all dirty? So, here we go. I have a pot of water all set up here. I actually use filtered water. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, maybe a half a teaspoon, something like that. And I'm going to get this up to boiling, throw my chicken in there, leave it in there for about 10 minutes or so. Check, make sure they're cooked all the way through. Pull them, let them cool off, and I'm going to shred them. I'd also like to remind you guys that uh, you can use any kind of chicken you want. Let's say you're at the store, pick up some of those uh, rotisserie chicken, take one of those, chop it up, shred it, use that, and then... Uh, Whatever you have left over, you have great makes for a great snack or sandwiches. So, uh, yeah, so you can get your chicken pre-cooked. You could even use canned chicken if you wanted to. It's all up to you. Whatever's easy. This, you know, this is a little harder, but make it easy on yourself. Cook at home, guys. Alrighty, we're ready to add my chicken in here. Just throw it on in, and I'm gonna turn down my burner a little bit. This thing will boil over. But uh, yeah, just mix it around a little bit, cook for about 10 minutes, check to make sure they're cooked all the way through, pull them out. Alright, so it's been about 5 minutes, they're actually done, and even if they're not done all the way, it doesn't matter because I'm going to cook them in the soup to cook the rest of the way. But I'm going to pull these out, shred them up, and have them ready for the soup. Here I'm going to drain my chicken off here, praying that this little strainer doesn't fall down into the sink. I managed to do it. Yay me! So I just dump them out on the board here, grab two forks, and start shredding because they're hot. But once they started cooling down, you could start shredding with your fingers. Uh, when it was all done, here was what I had. 
Now that our chicken's ready to go, I wanted to kind of go through a couple ingredients you want to have on hand as we do this process. We're going to uh, saute some vegetables in a minute here. Uh, we're actually going to put a little vermouth in it. <laughs> so if you got some vermouth, don't have to use it, but you'll see how I use it in a minute. Make sure you have some garlic or fresh garlic. Uh, I'm going to use about a, oh, a teaspoon heaping. How's that sound? Uh, make sure you have some thyme. And for our, when we make our dumplings, uh, make sure you have some baking powder, some multi-purpose flour. Um, I'm going to add, you don't have to add noodles, but add some leftover noodles. <laughs> Leftovers, guys. I'm going to add that to the mix at the very end um, so they don't get too mushy. Make sure you have salt and pepper. I'm using kosher salt. Um, that's kind of a review. We're going to, for vegetables, I'm going to use uh, sliced onions. Um, I'm also going to use carrots. And I'm going to use uh, celery. <laughs> Can't remember. Anyway, uh, I'm going to throw all that in the pan in a minute here, and I'm going to use butter to cook them in, and also some uh, olive oil, and I'll show that to you too. I just wanted to review some of the ingredients, and uh, I'll tell you how much I'm using as we go. Okay guys, it's time to uh, saute our vegetables. So I'm going to add with a little bit of uh, butter, I just cut a piece off of, my, uh, off of a brick, and I'm going to add some uh, olive oil, so here we go. Threw my butter in the pot there and I'm grabbing a little bit of olive oil and going to mix it in with the butter and start getting it warmed up. I find the oil kind of helps keep from burning the butter so it's worked out really well. So when the pan's hot I added my half a cup of carrots, half a cup of onions, and I had to be kind of careful how I measured this one, and my half a cup of celery and uh, start stirring them up, trying to get them about half cooked and getting my onions kind of clear. All right, so we're sauteing this a little bit, and uh, once they get kind of uh, soft and the onions get a little clear, I'm going to add some garlic, and I'm also going to add some uh, thyme, about a, about a teaspoon, and then I'm going to add a little vermouth in it just to burn that off, get the flavor out of it. Then we're ready to add our flour. All right, I'm adding my minced garlic right here, and I also pour a little oil over them. I'll wait a second, then start stirring. Here I'm just making sure that the garlic gets well mixed in with the vegetables to give them good taste before I start the next process. So yeah, stir, stir, stir. Here I'm adding a teaspoon of thyme. And once again, when I'm done with that, I'll start stirring again. Now I'm adding a little salt and pepper, uh, just two pinches, and start stirring again. Here's the fun part. I'm going to add about oh, a quarter cup of vermouth and taste test it too. Stir this down till the alcohol's gone and let the flavors go into the veggies. Here I got a quarter cup of flour and I start adding that to the veggies to make them kind of pasty. And I'm drying out all the liquids. Keep adding a little bit at a time until you get the mixture nice and dried out. Uh, you're going to have to keep kind of going back and you make, like I said, you don't have to use it all up. Just keep adding till you get it pasty and dried out. Because uh, we're going to add chicken stock to this after we're done. The purpose of this is making a little slur, which basically what we're going to be doing is thickening up the soup a little. This isn't chicken noodle soup. This is a chicken and dumplings so you're kind of making your broth uh, thicker but not too thick like gravy. Once you think you got the flour the way you want it, uh, take it off the heat a little because we're going to add our broth. Here I'm using a 32 ounce chicken stock and uh, I'm just going to use the whole thing so just dump her on in there and uh, take your time, there's no hurry. Uh, and Then we're going to put it back on the burner to start getting all the flavors to mix in so uh, yeah this is gonna be good you're gonna like it so we're back on the heat and we're starting to stir again
You can see here that it's thickened up just a little bit and that's all we want. Okay, for the dumplings, I'm going to use about a cup of flour, about two tablespoons of baking powder. I'm going to add a little thyme to it, a little salt and pepper, and I don't want it to get soupy. I want it kind of pasty, um, and you'll see how it looks when I'm done. So we're starting off with a cup of flour. Now adding two heaping teaspoons of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. Now blend the two together the best you can with a whisk. Now I'm adding about two pinches of salt and pepper. Now I'm breaking out my container of thyme and I'm adding about a half a teaspoon of thyme just to give it color. And of course a little taste. Once again, blend everything really well. Now I'm starting off with three quarters of a cup of just regular milk and just add it as you go till you get the texture that you want. What we're trying to achieve is it to be very pasty. I don't want it liquidy like uh, you would with pancakes. You want it pasty and uh, uh, these don't have to be pretty. Uh, the way we're going to do this, you'll see in the, uh, when we go to put this into the soup, um, that having it pasty is uh, actually very easy to work with. So here we go. This is the way I want it. Nice and pasty. <laughs> Add a little more milk. Just make sure the way I got it and you're ready to go. Okay guys, we're there. So you see how it's kind of pasty? That's about the way I want it. And we're going to put little balls of this in the soup in a minute. So i got to add my chicken now. So I'm adding my chicken in. I'm going to wait a 5-10 minutes to let it all blend and cook together. And, of course, start stirring again. Holy moly, does that look good or what? Well, now I have my chicken in there. I'm going to put the lid on this and let it simmer for a little bit. Let the flavor of uh, all the yummies in here kind of soak into the chicken a little bit. Then we'll add our dumplings. And for a side note, guys, here, I'm going to make a salad to go alongside with our meal. Uh, make it easy. Get, get it pre-made. I am going to cut up a couple of onions and a cucumber to put in the salad. And uh, you'll have plenty. And also uh, gives, me, gives my wife something to take the lunch. To balance out my dinner today, I want to make a salad. So I made some pre-mixed salad. And then I cut up a tomato, and once I was done with that, I spread it all over the top of that. And uh, yeah, you can make a pretty little salad this way. And then I'm adding some carrots. Then using about a half a cucumber, i got to peel it first. And then I'm going to just slice it up and put it into the top of the salad. Once I got it all in there, you just kind of will lay it out real nice and then at the end there you'll see I'll be putting some bacon bits on it. <laughs> so, yeah that was a good salad by the way. Like they say bacon tastes good on everything especially on a salad so bacon bits <laughs> yummy. Threw a lid on it threw in the refrigerator for dinner later on. So here's my leftover egg noodles. I'm adding about mm, maybe a half a cup of these noodles in. Uh, just to give it a little more texture. You do not have to put noodles in your uh, chicken and dumplings. All right, we're ready to put our dumplings in. And so we're going to just put little wads in with using our spoons. Doesn't have to look pretty. And once you do that, we want to have the heat to about medium high. I'm going to bring it up just a smidgen. We want to put a lid on it because that kind of steams them a little bit. It takes about 10 minutes to be done and you're ready to eat. Here we go guys. This is like playing with Play-Doh. <laughs> anyway, just take a little chunks of this, drop it into the, the pot and just uh, use up your uh, dough. And I made about, I think about seven little dumplings as I did this. And uh, you just keep shoving them in, kind of separate them as you go. And uh, when you're all done, you just want to put a lid on it. And from 10 to 15 minutes, your soup is ready. Special note also, as I was adding these in, as it gets a little crowded, you want to take a different spoon and just kind of separate them and uh, make sure that they don't get stuck together. Uh, 
really is easy to do and uh, I thought I'd just kind of show you how what it looked like actually putting the dough in. It's a little tedious but fun at the same time. Once again make sure you put a lid on this and let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Voila! It's done. Doesn't that look great? You know I grabbed a bowl and I thought I'd just uh, spoon up a little bit here and show you what it looked like. I want to get the best bite possible and let's go here. Add a little parsley to give it color and make it look pretty. Okay, it's time for a taste test. Here we go. Got a little bit of chicken. Got a little bit of dumpling in there. Let's see how it tastes. And it's hot. Oh. Oh, dang. My wife's right there. These are really good. It, this is as good as Cracker Barrel. And that's my favorite. I'm telling you guys got to make this. So, good stuff, guys. So, we're going to sit down at the table, have dinner. I got dinner all ready to go. We're going to have salad, too. And uh, let's eat. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.